Hello and welcome back to She Walks She Paints. Thank you for joining me again and if you have been liking, commenting or subscribing, thank you so much for doing that. You're really supporting my channel and helping me keep doing what I love and sharing it with you all. Today we've come to a place in the far north of Scotland and we're going to be walking up to a really cool castle ruin. So you know I love a castle. I think you can actually see it in the background there somewhere. A little speck on the horizon. We're going to walk up there, we're going to get some amazing views hopefully and just have a really nice day. The sun's trying to come out so hopefully it's going to be nice weather today. Really excited to head up there, see what the ruin is like and see what the views are like and hopefully we find some interesting things along the way to photograph. So let's head out and see what we can find. Ready? summery smell of the wildflowers in this meadow was really beautiful.
can hear someone in the river already. Where's Jack? Where's this puppy dog? Where's Jack? Where is he? There he is! I knew you'd be in the river. Come on. amazing jewel bright dragonflies skimming the water of the river. I wish I could have caught them on camera, but they were darting around too fast. You've been swimming in the river. No, we're not going back just yet. I'm gonna keep you nice and cool on the walk. Good, let's go. <laughs> wow. I wonder how long ago that tree came down. That's so cool.
starting to get a bit of a breeze now, which is nice because it is warm climbing up this hill. Um, I should have done what Jack did and go for a swim in that river <laughs> on the way up. I think we're nearly at the castle now, so let's keep going and see what we find up there. Beautiful heather coming out. Turns the hills purple, it's gorgeous. Puppy dog. Is that a nice walk? What do you think of the view? Jack doesn't like coming up these stairs because it hurts his pawsies. So he waits at the bottom and I go up to the top. I'll be right back, I promise. The exact age and origins of Castle Varric remain a mystery, although it is said to be over 700 years old. The area has been inhabited since prehistoric times, and the castle sits on what would have been an important site, giving a vantage point to the surrounding land and sea. This area on the northwest coast of Scotland is known as Mackay Country, the ancient home of the Highland clan Mackay. 
the castle we see today was likely a stronghold or watchtower for the clan chief when it was built. There are believed to be caves in the rock underneath the castle, used by members of the Mackay clan who lived here in times of danger. I don't mind that there isn't much known about this castle. It almost makes it more interesting, as you can let your imagination run away with you, thinking about who might have lived here and the things that they might have seen. So here we are at the castle, Castle Barrick, which overlooks the Kyle of Tung and the village of Tung and also has amazing views across to Ben Loyal and Ben Hope, which is the Munro that I climbed in episode 20, if you want to see that. And I painted a beautiful wildflower. Looks like I might be doing the same today, huh? There's so many flowers. Beautiful day, nice breeze up here, so it's a little bit cooler. And yeah, I think that's it. We're gonna head back down and I will see you on the way. too many spiders. Come on, let's go. And there we go, we're nearly back at the river, so we're nearly finished this walk. It's really humid now, the sun's gone in a bit, but it's still really warm. I think my hair's gone a bit crazy um, <laughs> with all the heat and the wind, but it was so worth it. What an amazing view from that castle. I can understand why they built it there. Got a great view to Ben Hope, which is what I've climbed in a previous video. I think it's episode 20, if you want to check that one out. And also Ben Loyal, which is that really amazing looking mountain that you could see. Um, it's not quite a Munro, so it's not one of the highest, but it does look really cool. So that's definitely on my list of places to come back to and walk. For now, we're gonna finish up here. We are pretty warm, pretty tired. Um, but yeah, great little walk. And hopefully I got some really good photographs of those lovely flowers, maybe the heather or the wild orchids. So yeah, I'll take a look at those when I'm back in the studio and I will see you there.
Uh-uh. You sit down, please. Sit. Wait. I chose to paint the wild orchid that I found on the walk. It's beautiful but very complex as there are so many tiny parts to capture. I broke each segment of the flower down into individual parts and tried to focus on them one by one. This helped me not get overwhelmed by the complexity of the whole piece. The marsh orchid is incredibly vibrant, a bright splash of purple amongst the greens, yellows and whites of the plants around it. Here I am intensifying the colour of the petals to try and capture that brightness. I love this part of the painting, as you can see the three-dimensional forms start to take shape. Just like in the photograph, I want the leaves to almost be in soft focus, as the vibrant purple flowers should draw in the viewer's eye.
The markings on the orchid's petals are the final detail that will bring the piece together. I need to get these right to make the painting work. these markings, first I go in with a thin brush, saturated with colour, and make delicate dots on the paper. Next I go back with a clean, slightly damp brush and soften the edges to help blend the whole section together. All my paintings are available as prints on my Etsy store. Purchasing a print means that you're helping to support my channel and genuinely helps me keep doing what I love and sharing that with you. You can also support me by liking, commenting or subscribing, following me on Instagram or by donating the cost of a coffee over on Ko-fi. Links to all my pages are in the video description below. And welcome back to She Walks, She Paints. Thank you, She Paints. <laughs> what are you doing in there? Hey, puppy dog, you keeping an eye on me? Come on, monkey. <laughs> That's how Jack gets in the castle. I told you I was coming back. Straight at the camera, Jack. Let's go. Jack, come here. Don't kick the camera this time. Mm -hmm.